Thank you for coming out uh, here this morning at the Durham County Detention Center. Uh, let me just start by saying everything we do at the Durham County Sheriff's Office is designed to save lives. This is another example of our partnership with Durham County, certainly Durham County Public Health, and our ability, or increasing our ability to do just that, save lives. By having this Narcan machine in our lobby, hopefully, will never be used, but if it, if it is used, it will save the life of someone who is suffering from an addiction. Good morning, everyone. Rod Jenkins, Public Health Director, and my good friend, Sheriff Burkhead. We are, as he had mentioned, we are delighted to partner with the Sheriff's Office to have this uh, Narcan vending machine here. Uh, I hope that this is the start of one of many. Uh, we already have one in the Public Health Center, and we aim to have another Narcan vending machine in one of our library systems pretty soon. Uh, we certainly are, uh, are, are, are glad that we were able to do this. Uh, I'd be remiss if I did not uh, really mention the support of our Board of County Commissioners who are fully 100% behind this, our Board of Health as well. And uh, we, look, we hope that uh, this will go a long way to saving lives because that is what we're in the business of public health. Without a shadow of a doubt, we're inside an epidemic. We know that uh, overdoses are increasing. Uh, I know I don't have to speak for the sheriff, but fentanyl is certainly uh, laced in every street drug uh, out there on the street right now. And we certainly know that uh, we need to arm our citizens with ways and methods to save lives. We are seeing an increase in addictions uh, in all populations, young and old, uh, all ethnicities. And so we have to remain vigilant in uh, not only enforcing the drug laws, but trying to help those who are battling those addictions. Uh, and I, unfortunately, as, as Mr. Jenkins said, we're seeing an increase in fentanyl uh, in, in, in showing up in, in designer drugs, certainly marijuana as well. And so we can't be too prepared to, to provide these life-saving measures to those individuals. And we're gonna continue to fight. We're gonna continue to do all we can do uh, to make this resource and other resources available as well. Three, uh, low barrier access to Narcan. Participants can feel free to enter the number in like they would do a normal vending machine. However, we have two options uh, for resources. They can scan the QR code, community resources, and they'll take those individuals to our public health website where they can access those additional resources. We also have a short survey uh, to collect some short demographic information in terms of zip code to help guide our future efforts. This is completely voluntary.